Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, we're making homemade apple turnovers from scratch, right? Now, the dough on these is very light and very thin, which showcases the filling, which I think is really the best part anyway, don't you? So, I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. First off, our apples. Now, I have 10 uh, Granny Smith apples here. My preference is to use the Pippin apple. I don't know if any of you have ever had it, but it makes, in my opinion, the best apple pie, the best applesauce, and the best apple turnovers. However, I can't find it in the stores anymore. So, you know, let me know, guys. I know you're all over the world, uh, all over the United States. Let me know if you guys have access to those kind of apples. I noticed they've been disappearing in my area, and I'm really disappointed in that. So anyway, we'll need some of those, but Granny Smith work. We'll also need some sugar, some cornstarch, and plenty of cinnamon. Guys, I use more cinnamon than most recipes that you'll see out there on the web. Now for our pie crust, or our uh, apple turnover crust, we're gonna be using some flour, some shortening, vegetable shortening I have here. I like to put mine in the refrigerator to firm it up. It helps to make your crust a little more flaky. We'll need some ice, water, and some salt. We're gonna start off with our apples first because we have to cook them for a little bit on the stove and we wanna get that going and then have it cool a little bit before we can put our turnovers together. So I'm gonna take my little uh, slicer core tool and I'm going to slice up the apples and then I'm gonna peel them and then you know take out the seeds and then slice them into say one quarter inch slice pieces. And we'll put them right into our stock pot. So now that I got all the apples peeled, we're ready to mix our sugar, cinnamon, and cornstarch together. Then I'm gonna take my sugar mixture and just pour it right over the apples. Don't even have to worry about stirring it just yet. We're gonna take this and place this on the stove. We're gonna place this over low heat and I'm gonna put a lid on it. Now we're gonna start off, I'm gonna pull out a nice piece of wax paper to do some measuring uh, on so that I don't get flour all over the kitchen and make a huge mess. <laughs> so you're gonna take some flour and you're gonna put it in a sifter and just pour it in. Because we're gonna double sift our flour, this makes our crust nice and light, although we don't have to worry about that too much in this recipe, as opposed to an apple pie recipe. And then I'm gonna measure out a cup of this by sifting right into the cup. And take a level knife and just level it off. Then I pour it into my, my bowl here, or I set it in gently because I don't wanna pack it down again. So I need two and a quarter cups of flour. Here's my two and a quarter cups of flour. And then I'm gonna sprinkle my salt, I have a teaspoon of salt here, just over the flour like that. So that part's ready. So now we're gonna take the sifter, I'm gonna place it in my big mixing bowl, and I'm gonna add the flour and the salt that I just sifted back into the sifter in the big bowl. And this is where we double sift. So then we'll just sift this flour right in the bowl. So here's the apples after about oh, 20 minutes or so of cooking. They're not too soft, um, but they're, they're softening up. I'm gonna go a few more minutes on this, but you can see the, the liquid, nice and beautiful and not too thick. So now I'm gonna add the shortening. Remember I, I told you I, I have it cooled in the refrigerator, so just it makes it better to keep your crust uh, flaky. So I'm gonna add that into the flour mixture and we're gonna cut it in with our pastry cutter. That's what this thing is here. And we're just gonna cut it up until it looks like the size of peas almost. So we just take our pastry blender and just start cutting in the flour and the shortening. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Now we're ready to add the ice cold water to the mixture. All right, so typically I add about eight to 10 
of these tablespoons of ice cold water before I start mixing. So that's two, three, so we go with, go with eight, and then I'm just gonna stir this up. You want it to just come together. So when you're making pie dough, which basically that's what this is, you don't wanna overwork it. You don't wanna, you know, just overwork that gluten in the, in the flour because then your crust isn't nice and light and flaky. Okay, so I need some more water to that. Give it another stir, see if you can kind of get it to come together a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go with another one. Number two. So it's kind of clumping together now, and I'm gonna help it by squishing it together. And you can see it's pretty flaky, which is a good thing. And at this point, I'm gonna squish this together. All right, so I'm gonna set that in there. I'm gonna cut a piece off, and I'm gonna roll out. You know, so I'm gonna take a piece like this big, maybe a third of it, and I'm gonna kind of squish it together. And I'm gonna cover this to keep it moist with a damp paper towel. Now this will help keep it from drying out too much while we're working with the other stuff. So I'm just gonna set that damp paper towel right there on top of that and set this bowl aside. All right, so I've got a cutting board down here. I decided to do it on a piece of wood. And you wanna throw down a fair amount of flour so that this dough doesn't stick, because it's gonna to wanna to stick, I can tell you that. All right, so here's my dough, and I'm gonna just smush it. I'm patting it out. And then I've got my rolling pin here, and I'll give that a little coat of flour and I'm just gonna start rolling this out. Usually you roll from the center out. The challenge is gonna be it's gonna stick. So I'm gonna cut off a piece. And this is gonna be my piece for my turnover. I can get some of this out of here. Move that over a little bit. Now you want to make sure that your board is pretty clean. You don't have a bunch of sticky stuff on it from the dough. I'm going to throw down a little more flour here. And you can make these as big as you want them to be. And it doesn't matter so much about the shape. I usually try and do like a square or a rectangle or something close. And I wanna show you how thin, you see how thin we're getting this? Very, very thin. Okay, I mean that's about as thin as I could possibly roll it without it breaking out. So then I'm gonna take some filling. And you don't wanna overfill, that's probably enough. And then you just fold these up. These are not gonna win any beauty contests, okay? I, I admit that, but they're definitely gonna look homemade. So you just fold them up the best you can and just kind of wrap up the sides just like that. And then I place it on my baking sheet right here. All right, let's do that again. Now remember, this is too thick. So we're gonna roll that out paper thin. I've got my oven preheating right now to 425 degrees, just like you'd cook a pie. Scoop of apple filling on there. Now if you overfill them, and the tendency is to do that, they tend to split. Not that big of a deal. I could probably overfill that one. We'll find out. And then I just wrap up the edges the best you can. Don't worry about it. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven, 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna check them in 20 minutes and see how they're doing. All right, everybody, these are fresh, hot out of the oven. Uh, I cooked them for 22 minutes 
just you know wait until they get a nice little golden brown they're very delicate uh, they're my little delicate turnovers um, you know you want it to be a little brown on the bottom nice and hot still and they are delicious you know this this filling is really where it's at I'm gonna I love eating it right out of the pan here guys I won't double dip that filling if you like cinnamon, you are going to love this filling. It's got more cinnamon, like I said, than most recipes, and I think it just is the best. You guys will love it. Delicious. This pastry is very, like I said, very thin, very light. Uh, it complements the filling. It doesn't uh, overpower it, and it lets that filling flavor come through. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please share it. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.